anyone here been in an abridged series before, including the ones that we've done here? Wait, Including the ones that we've done here, anyone been in a bridge series before? Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's go. What have you been in? Uh, I was on a YouTube bridge series for Evangelion that never took off the ground, so yeah, go me. Still counts. Yeah. Go ahead. There's a couple of abridged episodes uh, we recorded. Here at previous conventions. That you were. One was Bakuman or Bakugan. Bakuman, yeah. And another was Sword Art Online. And I assume I was almost in that cargo. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I never really got the lines that people were supposed to send in when we had to end the panel ahead of time. So that one's been delayed for ever. But you know, we still have fun working on it. Alright. And you as well, of course. And you as well. What's up? I'm Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, cool. We're getting some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. 
So, some questions for you guys. What makes a good abridged series? What series do you watch? What do they have that you enjoy? Let's see some hands up, get some audience into it. Right back there. Yes, you. Okay. Uh, what makes a good abridged series is pointing, uh, is the characters pointing at it to me is the characters pointing out how absurd the premise of the original series <laughs> is. is. Lamp, uh, lampshade hanging. That is a good one. Hey, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yu -Oh! was really good at this early on. All they had to do was point out the fact that they were playing a children's card game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somehow. Somehow playing a children's card game caused me to become severely into it. Exactly. All right. What else? Yes? Um, yeah. funny voices, scripted humor that is actually funny, funny voices, and also, anybody, has anyone else seen Code Mint? It's that Code Geos. <laughs> it's so funny. It kills me. Oh, yeah. All good stuff there. All very important. Yes? I think that for a good precision and a balance of both sound quality and good writing, if you have an excellent script, you can kind of overlook uh, some kind of bad sound quality to an extent. If you have the right good mass writing, but good sound quality kind of override to the extent so you get balance is really, really good research. That is very true, so I hope this script is really damn good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I saw some more hands. Yep, go for it. Uh, uh, shortening down the series without like losing too much of the story, which um, like DBZA with Team Four Star did a really good job because instead of like charging up for episodes at a time, they could just cut it down to like a couple seconds and still get all the story. Yep, that that is what bridging is in a nutshell, bringing it down to a mini form that still contains all the elements. I think good use of repeating the gags can make it a good series. He said the uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged as the Krillin owned account. Yeah. <laughs> How often does Mr. Popo act like a cycle? Funny gags, very good stuff. One more. Having the yeah, having these characters be entirely in character, even if it's not the same interpretation, quite the same interpretation, and uh, as in the original, just having. Uh, like the uh, uh, like, like Goku basically being a well-intentioned goof. And this is all important stuff. You guys have touched on a lot of points. We're getting to one. This slide right here. A few recurring elements in most of the series, <laughs> giving the characters humorous traits, funny voices, <laughs> making them dumber, vain, crazy, whatever you want, to just make them hilarious. And of course, running gags like we mentioned before. We got references, people seem to enjoy those. Mocking the dub, that's something that Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge was really good at. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall, lampshade hanging, like you mentioned earlier. And basically anything that the dubs do poorly, but they make it really funny. Because dubs try to do it seriously, we don't buy it. Let's make the fun, uh, fun out of that for it. <laughs> so, what goes into making an abridged series? This is something that anyone who will work on a abridged series will go through. Gotta watch the episode, of course. Write the script. I like to write it while I'm watching so that I have a good idea of what goes when and how things can tie together. Then record the lines, edit the episode, rewatch, review, get opinions, make sure it is all nice and polished. The audio quality is good, like you said. The timing is good. The jokes work. Get some outside opinions. Make sure that it is as good as you can get it. Because I say this every time, and it is still true. You are not your own worst critic. YouTube commenters are. Maybe this is why the next step is pretty good for I think any YouTube commenters are any viewers' uh, worst critics. On okay. anything. And I would like to mention that there is a difference between legitimate criticism and just being a dick online. So like yeah. if you point out something that could be done better, that's fine. Yeah. You just say, this sucks. You're not helping anyone. Nobody likes both of what not. Go hold yourself. And of course, we have, we have these optional steps. In fact, this picture quite well captures everything that I feel while things are going wrong. 
because these are the extra steps I always take. Curse I am a for crashing and losing hours of work. Look into better editing programs I can't afford. Complain on the internet about it. Blood voice actors to record their lines. Then curse I am when it crashes, uh, crashes again. I don't like iMovie, but it came with my computer, so it's what I've got. We are not going to be using iMovie for the recording this time. We are going to be using GarageBand, and I will save that in a separate file so I can move that onto iMovie. So I've got it all saved separately in case iMovie messes up again. What? The good news is, this means things are safer. Bad news is we won't be able to see the uh, episode as we're recording over it. But I will be giving the uh, descriptions so that you guys in the audience can still tell what's going on. So it takes about an, <clears throat> an hour of work to get a minute of the episode done. That's my average, it may differ for other creatures, but of course it can also be extended by the amount of time it takes to edit the script, hear back from the voice actors, have them re-record stuff, and of course real life often gets in the way, which is why it's been so long since my latest episode. I've been working on the script for the live action episode for quite some time. There was a live action run but one half the episode, so uh, we want to abridge that. I just have to, you know, finish the script and have the time to get it done. It'll be worth the wait, I'm hoping. So do we have any questions from the audience? Yes? Not a question, but one hour for one minute work is like a gross under thing. Like, I would spend like three hours for one minute. <laughs> so you're a champion. Congratulations. That's on average of just getting the rough draft done, and actually polishing things up and getting it looking a lot nicer, that will add on to the right there. You don't want to set yourself a time limit, you just want to make sure that you get things done well. Yes? I know that part of the provisions I work on, we kind of drew in people who were already like more in doing amateur voice acting, I guess that would be already helpful to you one up for that. How did you personally find people to work on scripts, voice acting, and that kind of stuff? Uh, funny thing is, so, the idea to a bridge run one one half actually came from the co-creators, oh my god, ruler, who is not here right now because he's only here for part of the day. Uh, he brought the idea up to me, and when I started looking over his initial script, there was a lot of work to be done, so I kind of took it upon myself to do a lot of the editing. We started doing the voices ourselves, but there were some characters we knew we would need more people for, so we put out a casting call online to get some interest in people who also wanted to do a bridging, we brought them in to do some voices, they would record their lines and send them in from wherever they were, we would get some of our friends to do some stuff, so we both drew from our social circles and just from people online who wanted to get involved. Yeah. Any more questions or are we ready to start a bridging? Yeah! Alright, so so. we are bridging Kyokai no Renee, another Rumiko Takahashi series. There are eight roles of varying size, so in order of importance, we have one of the protagonists, Sakura Mamiya. She is a typical Rumiko Takahashi female lead, and she can see ghosts. So, do we have anyone who wants to voice her? I want to voice everyone. We watch the episode first. Uh, that would take about. Yeah, we're going to take of a character. Yes, that we can do. Do you have any character that would be improved by a deep bass voice? Why is voice? Let's see. Voice? <laughs> or is acting quite serious? You know, I'm going to leave the different voices up to the people who come up here. So I guess I will uh, pull up some clips of this so you guys can uh, see what we've got and how they sound. It was actually a real pain to find a raw version of this. It used to be a lot easier, but thanks to streaming, actually being able to find direct downloads, it's become a lot more difficult. Go figure. <laughs> what a thunk. <laughs> oh. I'm in. ここからは一人でお帰りなさい。これ以上欠席が続くようなら少し考えないと。もう無理かもな。そっか。
くらちゃんさっきの来たって何えもしかしてみんなにも見えてないってことは幽霊Be the dog. <laughs> All right, so I have scripts for everyone except for the generic classmate who's only got one line. You're gonna go to someone else's. <laughs> and the dog, I never made a script for the dog, but get on up here. And <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting used to all the sound effects, but this works too. So normally I would have my nice big snowball microphone. Was that when I got here? <laughs> so normally I would have my nice big snowball microphone, but in this case I do not. We're going to be using these headsets. We'll see how well they work. So please come on up and have a seat. We're starting off with Sakura, so get over here. Yep. Super basic, but you know, it'll work. Yeah. yeah, I put it in my backpack for 10 seconds. Of course, it happened. <laughs> it's like such a pain. Okay, it works. All right, so. Don't worry about that. 
All right, so speaking of talking clearly, when I give you the cue. Hello. Oh, wait, shit. The episode begins with Sakura, the female lead, walking towards school. And in three, two, one. My name is Sakura Makifa. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Open to voice acting. <laughs> I'm trying to think, okay, wait. She, what kind of voice would the, the main character have? I need suggestions. Squeaky or average school girl? Very squeaky, squeaky. Oh, no, go, go for average yeah, school yeah, girl yeah. with a fair amount of snark. <laughs> oh, okay, I got this. <laughs> Alright, ready? Three, two, one. My name is Sakura Mai Metmai. What is her name? Mamiya. 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 Okay, 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 I got this. I won't ruin the plan for you. <laughs> it is alright, we have plenty of time, you are not likely to ruin it. Alright, and three, two, one. My name is Sakura Mamiya, and I'm a perfectly normal high school student. And now we have the ghost student. Please come on up. Sakura, stay here, because you're going to be doing plenty of lines. Maybe I should have mentioned that a little sooner. And, ready? Three, two, one. Hey, Sakura! Knows that they're not supposed to do that. 
and the teacher. Chomping sound effect. Chihuahua. 
There's a big box in the back of the school. Legend has it anyone who leaves money and food in it will have their ghost problem solved. Transition to the three of them outside the school looking at the box. Sakura? Three, two, one. This is the most suspicious thing I've ever heard. And Rika? Rika's coming. Oh god, he's okay. <laughs>
So here. Yep, just uh, speak into right here. Oh man, this is something you'll never see in a break, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it, it's what happens when you have no budget. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start from the voltage. Switching. We're going to get close and close. Ready? Three, two, one. Hold it. You can see me? You're standing right there. Even though I'm not a ghost. I can see ghosts. So, what are your chances of sneaking into the locker room? Has been thoroughly dashed. So, you see ghosts, huh? That's pretty unique. Yeah, just like uh, Ichigo Kurosaki and Watsuniki and that kid from the Sixth Sense and pretty much. I should take this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nicely done. So we've got the ghost phone doing the same recording, and Rokudo again, and let's see. Let me actually see how this sounds just with guys talking into the net. Oh, it, might, it might actually sound better. Uh, just like uh, Ichigo Kurosaki, and Wakamiki, and that kid from the sixth sense, and pretty much. Oh, I should take this. Compared to the Da -de -da. The uh, microphone still sounds better. I'm going to plug that back in, but it definitely helps having people actually being able to talk to each other. Definitely. I need to sneeze. Oh, go for it. Not sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> she fought about Yes. Yeah. So, bone goes again. Ooh. Bone goes. It's just the same thing. Oh, uh, yeah. So, it's uh, oh. okay. Yes. Sure. Oh, I'm hovering over the yes or no. I can't tell right now. Yes, you are over the yes. Cool. All right, so, Rokudo. He's in fact. Let's do it again. That was so cute. Three, two, one. Some guy wants to meet me after school. Something about bike safety. And Sakura. Bless you. And 
three, two, one. Sure, as long as you don't mind that it belonged to a dead guy. Who is a dead guy? As long as you can hold it in while you're doing yeah. it, I'm trying my best. Okay, well, it is your line. Oh, yep. Yeah. Good. Three, two, one. A dead guy? Alright, so I just got the uh, 10 minute warning card, which means we're going to have to uh, have all the voice actors record their lines uh, on their own time and send them in to, uh, to me on the uh, email address. I'll give on you guys. The internet. Yep. You guys can hold on to the scripts that you've got, but yes. because we do still have 10 minutes, oh. I would actually like to just have a live run through so everyone here can see how oh, it's going to sound. Oh man! I, oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, I will be my suckers. Alright, so let's see. We've got. So those of you who uh, still have lines, come on up so we can have them work on uh, just talking to the mics and gather around. So yes, we have the teacher now. Oh, of course. Sensei, okay. sensei. So, so you can take that one out and pass between the people who are talking. There you go. Uh, you was here, I remember like it was yesterday. Going to Cue flashback. A young teacher is on the phone, and the recording from the ghost phone plays. End of flashback. I never figured out what he meant by that. He died mysteriously after. Pull out to reveal the ghost standing by them. Maybe a flower pot fell on his head. <laughs> Wait, no, sorry. Uh, I suppose it's possible. Sakura puts the Hellery on the ghost, and he appears. Oh, hey, it's the dead kid. And the phone ghost. I've got my tracksuit. I want it back. <laughs> you know what they say, they, uh, you can't take it with you. Then you won't mind just uh, giving it to him? Why must I be made to suffer in perpetual poverty? He returns the tracksuit to the ghost. Ooh, thanks. The ghost vanishes. Why did the tracksuit vanish too? It wasn't a ghost. Because the universe doesn't want me to have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that all worked out. And now you can go back to living a perfectly normal life. And ghost student. Hello again, Sakura. <laughs> you just had to say it. Who's this guy? I'm the guy who's gonna put you to rest. Petting the ghost dog. Oh, I get it. Some of the jerks instead of nice guys like me. Uh, no, I mean, I'm literally gonna help you rest in peace. But I still have a class? I didn't say that either. <laughs> Sakura Chan is the only person who could ever say hi to me. Well, like, you're a ghost, so uh, the only other people who would say hi to you is uh, me. I was like that when I was alive as well. No matter how many girls I asked out, they all ignored me. This guy's a real dog. I wouldn't go that far. He's just. Lonely? No, I mean literally, he, he's a dog now. He points to the ghost student who is merged with the dog ghost. What? I did not know ghosts could do that. Can you explain to me what that means? It's like, what is What? I ghost this? What? Get it off, get it off! 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 Spanish. <laughs> uh, Nobody 
been here for the same day, too. We've only got like a minute left. Fair enough. So, uh, how about the date? No comprende? No thanks! That's okay. He's about to rampage. Follow me! He grabs Sakura's hand, and the two of them leap into a portal in the sky. What? Like, Hi! Where? The afterlife and the wheel of reincarnation. Oh. Okay. You could try to sound more impressed. After today, I don't think anything can surprise me anymore. Pokemon, attack! He fires several blasts of ectoplasmic energy from his mouth. Did you know ghosts could do that? Yeah, actually, I watched a show on TV called Danny Phantom. Alright, so we just got the red card, which means we have to call it for today. But thank you everyone for being here and for everyone who has volunteered. Uh, please meet with me outside so I can give you the email address and you can send me the lines when you're finished. Uh, hold on to the scripts. Uh, there should be enough for everyone except for the ghost dog and the classmate who only had one line. That we all have a script on hand so you can get it all done. And once again, thank you all and I hope you have a great time at Fanmate. Thank you.